Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make your own Gorilla Tech copy. And I know I've made a lot of these videos before, but they're starting to get outdated and I only really use the Mountain Beta project. A lot of you guys don't really want to use this project anymore, so today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to actually make a game in a decent new update. First you're going to go ahead and go over to Google and search up Unity Download. Then click the first link and then click download for Windows, and then install it just like so. I already have it installed, so I won't be doing this. But then once you have it installed, go ahead and open Unity. Just like this, Unity Hub. It shouldn't look like this, it's just mine's a little broken. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into the first link into the description and join my Discord server. This sh link should bring you here. Let me just... Uh... Then what you're going to do is you're going to go into the first link of the YouTube video and go into my Discord server. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go up a little bit to copy creation and click on projects. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to use the Spring Cleaning 2023 project. This is one of the best working projects where you, where you can do so much stuff in. And then you want to go ahead and download this. This is about one gigabyte, two gigabytes. So make sure you have storage for that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to also go to playfab.com and sign up or create an account. Let me make sure uh, not leaking anything here. Once you've signed up, you should get one game studio and one game. What you're going to do is you're going to go here and go to studio settings. And you can rename this if you want to. I'm just going to be doing a tutorial game. Then you're going to go click on this little settings icon and go to edit title info and change this to your game name. So I'm just going to do tutorial game, just like that. Click save title. And just like that, you've set up your game. But that's not it. Now we actually need to fix servers and make everything work using revisions. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to add-ons, scroll down to Photon, and open a new tab and go to Photon. You, you want to go to photonengine.com and then as well make a new account and sign in. Just like that, perfect. And then you're just going to go ahead and save. Then go to your dashboard and create a new app, change this to real time and name it something, I don't know, like tutorial tag or something, or just tutorial. doesn't really matter what you name it, but you just have to add a name. Then create a new app and name it or make it a voice and then do the same thing, just tutorial and then create it. Once you have both of these set, what you can do is you can go back here, click on this link, scroll down to here, and you want to copy this, HTTPS, PlayFab title ID, PlayFab API, blah, blah, blah. And then click manage on either voice or real time. Scroll down to custom server and paste this in. Don't save it yet. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go back to your PlayFab. Copy your five or six, seven letters or numbers and paste it right here. Make sure to also include the brackets in the highlighted text so that it deletes everything. Then copy this fully and save it. Then go back to your dashboard and do the same for the real time. Then what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna click on your little app ID, make sure to not leak these and paste it in their respective things. So voice is for chat and real time is for real time. And then click install. Just like that, you have now set up Photon, but the servers still won't work if you load in game. What you're then gonna wanna do is go to other stuff. Then you're gonna go to other stuff and then go to revision, copy this, this entire thing, and go back to your PlayFab Go to Automation, Revisions, Control A, and then Control V. Once you have this, just click Save as Revision 2, Deploy, Deploy and Save. That's your revision done, and now you just have to wait for the for the project to done be done downloading. Once your game is done downloading, what you're going to do is you're going to open your file explorer, and then go to wherever you downloaded to. So for me, it's going to be right here, and then mine is going to be right here. What you're going to do then is going to open it, or right click it, Go to WinRAR and extract files. If you don't have WinRAR, I don't think it should be that much of an issue. I think you can still extract it normally with just extract all. But I do recommend installing WinRAR because it just makes Gorilla Tech copies in general just 200 times easier. So yeah, just let this uh, un or unzip real quick and then I'll show you the next step. Then once it's done zipping or unzipping, what you want to do is you want to click add right here. Go to add project from disk and scroll down in your in your drive that you have and find it right here. Open it all the way until you get to export the project and then just click open. Then you can go ahead and click it to open it and 
Just note, you might not have this editor version, but if you do, just go ahead and open it. If you don't, I'll show you how to do it right now. If you see something like this directly next to it, that means you don't have the editor version. What you do, you just click on it, and then it should give you this pop-up. Just install it and wait till it's done installing, and then it should all open automatically. If it doesn't, just open it normally and then continue with the video. Once you've opened the project, what you want to do is you want to go over here and search up PlayFab Authenticator. Sometimes if you're not using the exact one that I have in my in my server, it, the PlayFab Authenticator might be different and I'll be showing you guys exactly how to do it if it is different. So right here, if your if your thing does not have this, then skip to the time the timestamp on the screen right now. But if it does, just continue watching. Right now, what you want to do is you want to go back to your PlayFab and go back to your add-ons, scroll down to Photon, and copy your real-time app ID. Then switch back to the script and replace it with this one right here. Do the same for the voice, and then do your six or seven letters or numbers. Copy that and paste it in here. Then save the script and close it out. That's how you do it with the script. If you don't have the script, this, or if you don't have that script, this is how you do it. First, you go down here and search up PlayFab Shared, this first one, and you put your title ID in here. Then you do Photon Server Settings. And again, you do the first one and change all of this, your app version, to Live 1122. And go back over here to Real Time App ID, paste this in. Oops, wrong one. Paste this in and do your chat app ID as well. Just like that. Then once you save everything by doing control S, you can then go ahead and play it and everything should work. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and play the, the game. And as you can see, the boards are green. That means the lobbies work. Um, if you do want to give somebody a cosmetic over PlayFab, what you would do is you would go to players click search, and then find the person you want to give the, the cosmetic to. And then you would just normally give it to him by just searching the player, going to inventory legacy, etc. But if nothing may, if nothing pops up, check economy, go to currency legacy, new currency, type in SR, type in shiny rocks, all caps, initial deposit, which is how much they want to start off with. So I'm going to do 1000. Recharge rate, I usually do 100 to 1000. Recharge maximum, just do 99. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Save currency. Then go to Catalogs Legacy and go back into my Discord server. Then you want to go to Other Stuff. Scroll down to Spring Cleaning 23 DLC and download this. Then just upload it into here by clicking Upload JSON. Choose File going to volume E or wherever you downloaded it to and uploading it like this. Then once it's uploaded, you can just pin it, make a primary category, and then you can go ahead and just give them the cosmetic you want. And that my friends is how to make your own Gorilla Tech copy in the spring cleaning 2023 update. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to stick around until the next tutorials where we will be teaching you a lot more stuff. Also, if you guys want extra booster projects, like 2025 projects, 2024 projects, etc., go into the Discord and boost the Discord. You will get a whole bunch of projects, like, like these, and custom projects that Hunter makes. So, yeah, go ahead and boost. It really pays off. Uh, but yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.